Oh my goodness, it's actually snowing ice now and I'm still filming a video. But we are having fun. Bam! Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome back to the project. In this video, we are doing another product review. Only it's not a car part. This is actually a flashlight. It's a combination spotlight and floodlight. And it was sent over to me by Joyce from the Z-Moon company. Uh, this is actually a, a Sanlinky flashlight made by the Sanlinky company. So I guess Sanlinky and Z-Moon are partners. So we got ourselves a new flashlight free for the testing. And uh, we're going to open this up and dig in and see what's inside and how it works. All right, guys, we got Sandlinky Rechargeable Spo Camping Flood Searchlight New, made in China. So let's go uh, open up our Spo. I believe they meant to write Spotlight, but hey, if you don't have room, you just skip that word, right? Um, all right, so this seems to be a tripod apparatus of sorts. Uh, all right, let me put this aside. Let's dig into the light. This is what I want to see. There we go. Look at that. Trigger finger at a trigger guard. Beautiful. <laughs> We're going to just uh, shoot our light. Oh, there we go. All right, the top light. Whoa. Top light. Uh, Multi-setting. Okay. And uh, bottom button. Bottom button is the spotlight. Okay, cool. So we got a bottom button as the spotlight. One setting, two setting, off. Top button is our floodlight. One setting, two setting, off. Pretty sweet. What else is in here? Instructions, cool. We got our charger, cool. We got a USB charger? No, this is a 12 volt car charger. And we got a strap. All right, very cool. So let's take a look at these instructions. Let's see what these say. All right, so we have the charge output voltage is 4.2 volts. The uh, LED temperature is white or yellow. I guess it depends on if you're using the floodlight or the spotlight. Very cool. Uh, battery capacity is 9,600 milliamp hours. Okay, uh, lighting time, 8 to 24 hours. Nice, okay. Lantern lighting time, 12 to 28 hours. All right, so that's a hard light to kill. Cool. Irradiation distance, about 800 meters, 2,600 feet. That is a lot. <laughs> wow. Okay. We'll see. <laughs> switch mode, electronic switch, charge time, 10 to 12 hours. All right. We're going to have to charge this bad boy before we test it out. Lamp beads life, about 100,000 hours. Wow. How do you even measure that? That's a long time. <laughs> okay. And uh, battery cycle life, about 800 times. So I guess we could recharge this thing 800 times. So let's get our first charge on right now. So, if we want to use this thing, we're going to have to charge it. So, let me go ahead and untie this. And according to the instructions, when it is charged, the indicator light will turn from red to green, which means then it is charged. Uh, according to this, it should take about 12 hours to fully charge. Um, these things, they usually come with about a half of a charge on them. Most electronics do that. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug this in. And uh, we'll come back to you when it's charged. Plug that in there, and plug this in down here. So we'll let this baby charge up, and we'll get back to you with a full charge and when it's night out. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, it's been about six hours later, and we got a green light, so we are going to unplug it. <laughs> and it's still green. Look at that. Excellent. I hope it goes off when I unplug this, or else there's some uh, freaky stuff going on here. All right. Good. It went out. We don't have to call Ghostbusters. Fantastic. All right. So we got the light. Let's test her out. All right. I warn you, the weather is not great outside. Ooh. I need some light. <laughs> it is snowing ice right now. But look at this light. This is a pretty powerful light. Holy smokes. That is one sharp beam. That's actually pretty impressive. Whoa. 
This is like a searchlight for the ocean <laughs> from helicopters. Wow. I'm actually impressed with this. That's the full power. That's mid power. That's off. Cool. All right, guys, we are walking to the street and it is dark. Can't see it, so let me light the way over here. All right, uh, this is a 6,000 lumen light. So I'm gonna give it the distance test. I am standing in the middle of the street, which is not safe at night, but it's a good thing I got a powerful light. Here we go. That stop sign, dead in the middle, is about 400 feet away according to Google Maps. I just checked it and we are, wow. We are blazing that light up. That's 400 feet away, guys. And you can see all the rain in the frame as a reference. Look across the street and down the road. Ah, eh, you kind of lose it down the middle, but 400 feet, no problem. To the naked eye, it is like daytime shining off that light. You can see it from all these different zoom settings. I think this probably gives you the best look at it. And this is pretty impressive, guys. Look at this tree completely lit. Man, I need a better camera. These lighting videos, I'm not doing them justice. I'm gonna be ushering planes, guys. This is insane. Um, don't wanna bomb a neighbor's house with light, but here we go. My yard is extremely deep. I have about a 300 foot yard, and you can see everything back there. Holy smokes. That is bright. Pretty good bang for your buck. For uh, 30 something dollars to get this light, it is packing a lot of punch here. Holy smokes. All right guys, time for a comparison check. We have my Stryon Streamlight LED flashlight. This is one of my favorite flashlights ever. Just pulled it off so you know it's got a full charge. And we're gonna go with a fresh battery. I'm a Dewalt and we're gonna put this on. We're gonna give you guys a nice fair comparison with this light. So we got a fresh charge on this Dewalt light. We got a fresh <laughs> got a fresh charge on a Stryon. We're gonna go compare all these. All right, we're back out at the street, and here we go. Here is the new San Linky light, 6,000 lumens, blasting away at 400 feet. No problem. Pretty nice thick beam, and it stays tight the whole way out. All right. I'm gonna go put this in the mailbox. And next up, we have the DeWalt. Now this DeWalt is about $60. And you can see the beam spreads out. Uh, you know what, this rain is actually pretty cool. It's uh, showing the width of the beam spread out. It still lights the uh, stop sign. It's pretty cool, but you can tell it's a lot weaker. It doesn't have that power, that tight focused beam. So this is a DeWalt, and it's um, got the 20 volt lithium ion battery. This light itself is about 60 bucks, and it boasts uh, 150 lumens. So you can tell it is definitely not as bright. All right, here we go. Here is my favorite flashlight. This is my Stryon Streamlight LED. It's super compact, super powerful for its size. This is a $100 flashlight, guys. It is definitely hitting the stop sign, but it's virtually has no beam. And you can see in the rain, it is just dissipating. Uh, it boasts about 200 lumens, and if you press and hold it, it goes into uh, its weak mode. I think it's only 100 lumens. You could tell it's really, uh, fading out and if you double click real quick we got a strobe light so this is a cool flashlight my favorite flashlight this is what I keep in Black Beauty XJ for an emergency and uh, you can see that it is not as powerful as the DeWalt light or the new San Linky spotlight and once again guys the San Linky look at that spotlight beam that is pretty impressive that is 6,000 lumens getting the job done. <laughs> nice. All right, let me hit it to the uh, lower power setting. And wow, the lower power setting is still pretty strong. So very cool, very cool. All right, let's go check out the floodlight before it gets soaking wet.
All right, guys, here we go. I'm in front of the General Grievous. I parked behind the Commander, so it blocks the porch light, and I can't see a thing right here. So I'm going to pop on this floodlight. Oops, that's the spotlight. My bad. Uh, here we go. Here's the floodlight. And I'm going to set down the floodlight right over here, and I have plenty of light to change this tire. I can see exactly what I'm doing. Illuminates all the lug nuts. Uh, pretty good. I can see under the car. Um, yeah, that works. Now, you can also flip it this way, and it stands on either end, but I like to stand it face down. Uh, it came with the tripod, so we're going to have to try out the tripod in a minute, but this is pretty cool. Uh, I guess if you lay it down on its side, can you do two at once? There we go. I can send a beam out to let oncoming traffic know that I'm here while still illuminating the tire. Now that is a cool function. I like that. All right, now check this out, guys. This is where it gets a little weird. You can put the spotlight on, and if you press and hold the floodlight, boom, emergency lights. Now, uh, I wish there was a way you could rig this up to let people know you are stranded and still light up your, uh, your project or your problem. Um, let's get into that with the tripod. Let's go check that out. All right, guys, here is our flashlight. Here is our tripod. <laughs> I was just messing with this thing, and this thing kind of rubs me the wrong way. I'm really not a fan of this tripod. Um, right off the bat, it feels very flimsy, very weak, and I want to kind of attach it, you know, like with this tripod holder thing it's got. Um, it, it doesn't line up. Uh, like, seriously? <laughs> Not a fan of that. You can get it on, but it's really awkward. It's got to screw in at an angle. I feel like the design of this part was an afterthought, and it, <laughs> it'd be nice if this whole thing was level all the way. Uh, should you cut off this part of the tip? I don't know, but it's not sitting flush, and it was driving me crazy. But nonetheless, you can still get it on. And it, it's a really solid flashlight. I feel like if it had arms that came out of the handle, it would be better suited because it's a pretty robust flashlight, pretty solid. And you got this tripod that's really flimsy. Um, it does adjust, which is cool, I guess. But I think that's kind of useless because, I mean, you don't need the tripod for it to stand up like this. It, it stands up on its own. <laughs> So this is really stupid. The only way it works is if you have it up like this. Now, um, I would ridicule the heck out of this thing for being so stupid, except for this fact. And this is the best part about it. And I'll show you right now. So here you go. You got your light on the stupid tripod. And we're going to light up our flat tire right here with the spotlight. High, low, low off so we're going to light up our spotlight now because it's on this tripod what you can do is you press and hold your floodlight and boom you got an emergency light on you you can light up your project or your problem with the flashlight and still have your floodlight signaling oncoming traffic hey don't run me over i'm changing my tire here so Call me crazy, but this stupid, flimsy little tripod that I thought had no purpose being on this flashlight can probably save your life. Dang. Of course, to take it off, you just collapse the legs and you unscrew this really lopsided, flimsy piece of plastic from your light. And, um, yeah, you got your light that you can stand up, lay down, roll over. Sit down, good boy. <laughs> Flimsy tripod. What else does it have? It does have the USB charger. Not the USB charger, the 12-volt car charger. So that's good. And it's got your strap, your harness, which is self-explanatory. You just click it on here, and you have a holder for it. So that's it. That is the light in a nutshell. It's really cool light, and um, I'm glad I have it. Uh... Again, I can't believe I could say this, but this could save your life. You put this on flash mode, whatever, emergency mode, and still light up your area, that's cool. Um, the price of this is 
reasonably affordable. Heck, you could buy two of these things. You could light up your area with the floodlight, and you could set up another one and have your emergency light. Um, if you have room and storage for it, <laughs> get two. But yeah, um, I'm going to hold on to this one. I guess I'll hold on to this one because you never know when you're going to get a flat tire. So all that's left to do is test this thing for battery life. All right, guys, time to test the battery life of the new flashlight. So we're going to run the spotlight on full power. And for a comparison, we're also going to run the Dewalt light. And we're going to run my Stryon Streamlight flashlight. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the old alarm radio, the old clock radio. Let's see if I can set her up here. We're going to see how long this sucker runs. Going to plug it in. There we go. We are flashing on 12. Let's power these things up. Full power, all of them. There we go. And we're just going to let this thing run. So either I'm going to run out of battery or I'm going to run out of light. <laughs> either way, we'll see how long this light can stay on. So here we go. I'm going to shut the lights off. I'm going to close up shop, let this thing run, and I will see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, good morning. We are back. I am so sorry. I botched my time lapse clip. I set up the camera, turned out the lights, I pressed record so we could see the battery power drain from this new flashlight. And <laughs> I forgot to put it on time lapse. So, of course, the memory card filled up and uh, I ruined the whole experiment. But the best part was when I came back in nine and a half hours later, this was still on and it was on bright the whole night. So, I didn't have to reshoot it because I knew this lasted at least nine and a half hours. Don't get me wrong, it was a little dim, but 6,000 lumens for over nine hours? This thing is impressive. That sold me on it, and despite the fact that that tripod is really stupid and flimsy, it really comes in handy when you're putting this thing on emergency mode and it lets you light up your project or problem at the same time. So I'm gonna give this thing two thumbs up. Um, I'm going to get a couple for Christmas gifts for uh, my friends and family. So uh, maybe you guys could do the same thing. I'll leave the link in the description below. And uh, this is pretty cool, man. I really like it. So thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next project. Peace.